going to do a crochet look. It's going to be really simple, really fast. We are utilizing this Brazilian Go Go Curl by Bobby Ball. Let's take a look. I'm even get it close. Bobby Boss. I have three packs. At the end, I'll tell you how many I'm using. And then you just need a crochet needle. And we all ready to go. Oh, and I do want to say that this is a scissor inspired look. I've used this curls before, but this time I'm going to do a middle part. And that is so scissor, right? All right, let's get started. So I am starting out by sectioning my hair. I am going to flat twist it down because you guys, this is a braidless crochet. Now this is optional, but at the ends, I am braiding the ends together, but um, I'm not braiding the scalp, but you could continue to twist it. If so, I just did it for a little extra security. And be sure to properly moisturize your hair as this is a protective style. I even used a little hair grease this time, which was the softy. And I also used just a little um, oil sheen that I had. Just trying to have it moisturized because you don't want it to get all flaky and dry after only a week. And then eventually you want to take it out. So let's moisturize our scalp, guys. I'm leaving an optional part either from the middle or on the side and you all can do the same. I sewed my back down, um, but you can also use bobby pins if you don't know how to sew your own hair. Right here, I am just separating the hair. I just feel like it gives it a more of a natural curl, um, but I didn't do this to all the pieces. I'm cutting away any frizz from the hair. Utilizing our crochet needle, we are installing our first piece of hair. Right now you're seeing me use the olive oil oil sheen spray because I'm putting it on my fingertips to reduce the frizz as I'm pulling the hair apart. This style was like super easy to install, you guys. Um, it really should only take about maybe two and a half hours. Some people are faster, but I like to perfect my craft. So I'm, I take a little bit longer and I'll be recording. And if you notice, I'm only actually doing one knot. Um, I would suggest you could do more, but personally, I just want my hair to come out very easily. So I do one knot. I'm cutting the hair in half because now we're going to start framing the face and we're going to start adding smaller pieces to the front of our head. Smaller pieces give it a more realistic look. Notice how I'm knotting the front. I'm grabbing both pieces of hairs and I'm pulling it through. I tried one piece um, recently and I did not like that because you could kind of see the knot. But if you just pull both of them through, you won't be able to see the knot. Make sure to kind of give your hair like a good haircut. Um, pull it down because the curls do fall. So be sure to pull all your curls down before you're finished and cut anything that's hanging. Okay, you all, we are done with the tutorial. I just want to show you this beat. Here is the hair. You kind of keep playing with it. You could pull it in your face. You could keep it on the side. Oh, shit. Thank you for rocking with me, y'all. We still got to cut some of the wig because we need to still shape it. I just wanted to show you a preview of how it is looking. Okay, just so y'all know that I'm not new to this, I'm true to this. It is, oh, 444 4, 4 in the morning, not afternoon, and I'm just finishing up this tutorial and I have a hair appointment in the next 
less than about three and a half hours. So I gotta try to get some sleep two hours, wake up back at seven, be at the shop by 8.30. Um, I'm tired. I hope you all really enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was probably gonna be really fast and not as much expression as usual. It's little, usually, you hear that? This hair is bomb. I hope I can go to sleep on it well and I hope I can save my makeup because I don't want to have to redo it in the morning. Cause yeah, I'm really liking this little mall. I'm gonna have to start adding a little mall in general. Who knew that was so cute, SZA? All right, well, y'all, I'm gonna take some photos and we gonna get this popping.